It came without fanfare, a whisper from the cosmic void, an interloper sliding toward our sun at a speed that bends belief. Astronomers designated it 3I-ATLAS, the third known visitor from beyond our solar system. But this one feels different. Its glow is outsized, its course improbable. By the time we noticed it was already here, a phantom stepping out of interstellar night. And so the questions gather. Is it just a stray rock? A shard of some distant star's debris? Or could it be... artificial? An ancient robe? Adrift for ages, now briefly awake? Whatever it is, we are not alone in the quiet anymore. Something has crossed the dark between stars, and it demands our attention. In late June, under Hawaii's vigilant skies, something extraordinary slipped into view. At first, no human eye marked it. The anomaly moved fast and silent, carving a track no ordinary asteroid could sustain. The name was plain, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, yet the mystery was anything but. To grasp the stakes, we revisit recent ghosts. October 2017, our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, cigar-like or maybe a flattened disk, no tail, no familiar cometary breath, yet it sped up as it left, as if nudged by an unseen hand. Two years later came 2i slash Borisov, more comet-like but alien in makeup. Awe rose. Humanity was watching interstellar travel in real time. Still, the riddles lingered. What sends these travelers our way? And why now? This new arrival raises the bar. Brighter, seemingly larger. If its surface is dark like an asteroid's, models hint it could span up to approximately 20 kilometers, dwarfing its predecessors. That possibility alone ignites debate. Telescopes worldwide pivoted. Observations poured into the minor planet center. Over a hundred detections traced a trajectory that unmistakably points back to interstellar space, perhaps from regions nearer the galaxy's crowded heart, where energies run high and histories are violent. As measurements sharpened, intrigue deepened. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb urged the use of the James Webb Space Telescope to look for the faintest hint of non-gravitational acceleration. Detect even a subtle push not accounted for by gravity alone, and the door opens to the extraordinary, maybe engineered propulsion, a technology set adrift long ago. Most astronomers remain cautious, preferring natural explanations. Yet the what-if refuses to fade. Right now, 3i slash ATLAS is racing into our neighborhood at roughly 152,000 miles per hour, approximately 244,000 kilometers per hour. October 2025 brings a close pass by Mars, then a sweep near the sun. Earth will watch from a safe remove, but we can't shake the bigger question. Why has our doorstep become a crossroads for wanderers between stars? Maybe they were always here. Only now do we have the eyes to see. Or maybe something out there changed. Either way, the third visitor unsettles our sense of cosmic solitude. If humanity dreads anything more than loneliness, it's the possibility of company. As 3i slash ATLAS approaches, whispers grow. Is this purely natural debris, or does its behavior hint at something more? When Loeb first suggested Oumuamua might be artificial, shockwaves followed. Now he argues again. Study 3. I slash ATLAS closely, openly, rigorously. Use web. Hunt for that non-gravitational trace. 
Non-gravitational acceleration isn't unheard of. Comets experience it when sunlight drives sublimation, giving them a gentle thrust. But Umamua showed no visible outgassing and still accelerated. Could 3 i slash a t l a s share that signature? Imagine for a moment an artificial structure, launched eons ago, built to endure the void, briefly waking near stars to take quiet readings before moving on. Mainstream science resists the leap. The unusual brightness could be high albedo ice. Yet if the size truly nears tens of kilometers, the scale alone forces new questions. And consider this. After centuries of silence, we detect multiple interstellar visitors within years. Perhaps they always passed by unseen, hidden by our older tools. Or perhaps galactic currents shifted, distant encounters, stellar tides, or our solar system drifting into a denser interstellar lane. The soon-to-operate Vera Rubin Observatory will scan the sky every few nights, promising a flood of discoveries, maybe catching new visitors before they arrive. Answers multiply, but so do questions. What else moves out there in the dark? Are these fragments, lonely remnants of shattered worlds? Or intentional messages, quiet notes waiting for us to listen? Let's be honest. We stand at the edge of the unknown. A pattern is emerging, and humanity must choose how to respond. Fearful or curious, 3 i slash a t l a s won't stay. Like the others, it will pass through, a brief flare on our threshold before it vanishes back into night. But every visit resets our perspective, pushes our gaze outward, and tightens our resolve to understand. Maybe it's only a solitary shard, drifting in eternal silence. Or maybe it's a summons, a quiet call to look harder, reach farther, and test what we think we know. We've spent ages waiting. Perhaps that's the problem. Now it's time to measure, to watch, to try. As it recedes, it leaves more than awe. It leaves homework. Open our data faster, use our telescopes smarter, and keep our instruments ready for the next whisper from the dark. In the end, everything narrows to a single question. Are we alone, or have we simply failed to notice what slips past in the night? If the unknown calls to you too, leave a trace. Subscribe, share your thoughts below. Somewhere out there, Drifting in silence, the next visitor may already be on its way.